why after the holidays when I film, it feels like it's literally been eight years since I filmed. Hey guys, it's Riley. What is up? How are you guys doing today? I hope you are doing wonderful. In today's trans education, I wanted to talk a little bit about trans representation in mainstream media. As I'm sure a lot of you guys know, considering you watch me, there are tons of trans YouTubers out there, but a lot of the trans YouTubers aren't seen in light of the mainstream media just yet. So I wanted to talk a little bit more about our representation in the mainstream media and kind of like what we see. I'm gonna give you a list of the five trans people that I can recognize by memory in mainstream media today. And one of them is a character that has been irrelevant for years. We have Ruby Rose, Laverne Cox, Chaz Bono, but in reality, where the fuck did Chaz Bono go after Dancing with the Stars? Nobody knows, nobody's heard about him, nobody's seen him, like we don't know. Caitlyn Jenner, who has portrayed a very unrealistic idealism of what a transition is for a trans person. And then Adam Torres from Degrassi, who is played by a person who is not trans, which it's not her fault, but still and he was killed off in an unrelated accident, as most trans characters are. In the mainstream media, even if it's a real person in the media, it seems as if they're portraying a romanticized idealism of what trans people are. Like, not all trans people can disappear for two months and then come back fully, physically, emotionally, mentally transitioned. That's not how that works. And the five people slash characters I mentioned are literally all I know. Those are the only names I can name off the top of my head of representatives for trans people in the mainstream media. I literally don't know any more names. I don't know any more names by heart. I probably could find some more if I looked them up, but I wanted this to be like a genuine video where I tell you the names that I recognize. And it seems like in the media, trans people are only portrayed in spotlight topics. Kind of like, oh wow, did you know this celebrity is trans? Instead of, by the way, it's illegal for somebody to change their gender marker on their birth certificate in Michigan even if they've had full sexual reassignment surgery or the suicide attempt rate for trans kids is at 41% for when everybody else it's at like 4%. Like the media does not talk about the important topics that we need to be mentioned in like trans bathroom laws and if they talk about that they talk on the other side of that and are like this is a problem it's allowing pedophiles into our bathrooms. They don't talk about the suicide rates of trans kids, even though that's one of the most, that is like, I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on this, but I'm sure you could look it up. I feel like the number one cause of death for trans youth is suicide because of how high the trans suicide rate is for teenagers. And it's, it's absolutely ridiculous how we are not accurately represented. Now granted, a lot of minorities are not accurately represented in the media, and I realize that. But part of the reason we are not accurately represented is because, oh, when they decide to have a trans character on a movie or a TV show, they don't cast a trans person to play the trans character. And sometimes their reasoning behind that is, oh, well, we're doing some pre-transition stuff and we don't want to trigger dysphoria with a trans person. How about you cast a trans person and tell them that they're gonna, like, do that before you cast them and so they understand that and they know but that trans person can still play the trans person in the show or movie. I feel like that's a really simple concept that people just haven't grasped yet. Our representation in the media honestly sucks. We do not have people to really represent us. And I guess it's good that we have a lot of like trans YouTubers or internet celebrities that are coming out to be representation because otherwise a lot of these kids would not see people that they can look up to that are like them. And I guess that's one of the reasons I do what I do is so I can be that little sliver of representation hope for some femme fat trans guys who don't really see other femme fat trans guys. That's really all I had today. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below what your thoughts on our representation in the media are. You should subscribe if you're not already because I post two videos a week over here on this channel and you can check out my vlog channel and progression channel down below. Be sure to follow me on all my social media to keep up with me daily. It's at the Riley Kyle on all platforms. I love you guys a lot and I will see you guys on Thursday. Okay, goodbye.